Hey guys, we're back with the sales for Monday. Had a really good weekend this past weekend, and today it was a little slow coming into Monday, but it's how it goes sometimes. We're going to go over it. We have how many things to show you guys? Six. For how much? Just under 190 So just weird how the system works. But uh, we'll go ahead and go over it. There's a couple of neat things here. One thing even Linda thought was cool, and we have a repeat buyer too with the new eBay's function. It shows you if you have a repeat buyer, so... That was kind of interesting. Let's go into it. Uh, what was the total? You said 190 Yeah. First item. First up we have um, from the Jazz $100 buy. We've got Marianne McPartland's Piano Jazz. And that one sold for $15 shipped. That Jazz buy is still paying off. A little thrift store buy here. This Linda one's cool it. because our family plays uh, Mexican Train whenever we go up camping. So it's pretty awesome. So this is uh, CHH Games Whistling Train and Crowing Chicken uh, Domino Hub. It is sealed and it sold for twenty three dollars. I think it was like four or five bucks. It should go first class. It's super light, so that one's on its way. Then we got an empty iPhone box. This is iPhone XR, sold for ten dollars shipped. Bubble mailer. Then another sold, one of our letters went out. We just sold one this past weekend. We only got two left now. This one sold for nine and a half shipped. Well, that's like a five percent off to Watchers or whatever, and they took oh, it. So. They got the E. Then we've got. We'll show it on the screen. Oh. I was like, the E? You no, it. we'll show this in the screen. It's a little okay. bit bigger. So this is a winter fairy with a white dragon. It's a 3D collector I'll plate box like plus this. the figurine. This um, is the one that the, it says we had a repeat buyer within the past two years from this person when, when the offer came through. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. And they offered uh, $60. $60 60 bucks for this little thing. This is from that big fairy buy. We only have, I looked over, we have like two or three left. Yeah. So we're almost out of these, which is awesome. That'll clear up some space. So happy to see that one go. This then, was a sneaky little buy that I found in a $10 box of books. So this is the Bible experience. It's the complete Bible on MP3 or CDs. Sealed. Um, it is sealed and it sold for $60 ship. 60 bucks. I bought, like I said, 10 bucks for a whole box. Bought it for some books and some other DVDs I saw. And this one I didn't even know. This is in there. This gets 60 bucks. This is the best selling item out of them all. So... That was a nice surprise. That's all we got, though. Linda will be back if anything else sells. And we'll both see you in the next clip here in a second with what sells on Tuesday for sure. Take care. Hey, guys. We are back with what sold in our online business. This is my beautiful wife, Linda. I am Cameron. We are definitely not full-time resellers. Because if we were, today would suck. Uh, today was a horrible day for us online. Yesterday was kind of rough. Very rough, you know, about half where we want to be, but it happens. We can manage with that. Today was even worse. This is probably one of the worst sales days we've had in the past couple of years. Um, and one of our other platforms actually outsold eBay. So that's kind of crazy. How did we do today? Bum, ba, ba, da. We had three sales <laughs> across two platforms for a total of $64. 64 bucks guys it happens we have a big store 4,000 listings a lot of it's media so to be fair that's where a lot of our items are but uh, not even many things on the offer side either it wasn't like we had a bunch of um, offers coming through I had one I accepted it at $45 for a golf club they canceled immediately sold a $30 Bible they said they were gonna pay right away they still haven't paid uh, that's pretty and we had a hundred fifty dollar return today so today we're actually in the negative today we've lost money in the business so Guy had a DVD set for about 20 days and said he just didn't like it. So chances are he rented it, he paid for it, watched it. It was a pretty expensive anime set, and he's going to send it back. So it happens. Um, we'll block that buyer because we're not going to deal with that kind of stuff. But it's kind of the way it goes. Most people on eBay are great, but there are some fools. Let's go into it. It won't take long, but there might be more to show you guys in the next clip with what sells tomorrow. We're sure, we're sure hoping for like a thousand dollar day really to even out the week. <laughs> uh, that would be awesome. Anyways, uh, I guess we'll do... Start with the lowest. Start with eBay, which usually we do last. We'll do eBay first. One item on eBay, guys. This is a Lapco uh, Fire Resistant Long Sleeve Large Regular Shirt. Brand new with tag. Two bucks in. Sold for $30. That shipped. was an offer to watchers. That was at $38. So had one watcher out. Signed it out for $30. Snagged the sale earlier today, and that was in the morning, and then I have, didn't have anything since, except for that one that canceled. Now, Mercari is where we sold everything else, and well, I think this is the first one. Yeah. First up, we have this Osser Cold Rush, uh, Cold Therapy, the pad Never used. filled with water, um, and it sold for $16 plus shipping. So yeah, this should go first class, not too bad there. And then our last item. 
This is a pair of Don Joy Iceman Clear Cold Therapy uh, tubes you that you hook the up back for the her. thing to. Yeah. And those sold for $18 plus shipping. Um, the Oster one I paid $10 for the whole unit, I think. And then we sold that for $16. There's a couple other parts to sell. The Don Joy was only $5. And we sold this one part for $18 plus shipping. So we're doing pretty well on this kind of stuff on Mercari. Eventually they may not let you sell it there. But for now, it's selling. And that's all we have. So... What do you guys want to know? What do you want us to talk about to kill some time here? <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, we'll see you guys in the next clip with what sells tomorrow, which will be Thursday. So if you're watching and you haven't gotten to the end yet, pray for us. Even though this is old, we'll take your prayers for future sales too. Yeah. Take care. Hey guys, we are back with the sales from... Wednesday? Wednesday. So our last video, if you guys watched it, uh, was not too good for sales. I think I told you to tune in for the next clip, but it actually will probably be... I don't know if this is this clip or a new video, but today was a new day for us, and sales picked back up for sure. Yesterday was pretty trashy on eBay. Today we did 13 sales for just over $500. So an awesome day there. Uh, definitely happy with what came through. Uh, was very slow, like I said, the past couple days, but today bounced back. Hope it'll continue like this into the weekend. So let's get into it, unless you want to say something else. Okay, first item going out. Actually sold yesterday, but they finally paid today. This is the Bible Cameron mentioned. Spirit Filled Life Bible, New King James Version from 1991. It, it does some, have some damage. Some water damage. Yeah, it's going to take a minute to peel up every page. But mm. they still bought it for $30 shipped, and we picked that up at Savers. Yeah, that was when I didn't catch the damage. Because if you look at it from the side, for the most part, like it looks good. It's just right up here, the top of the pages in the back. Got a little, oops, got a little damage, so that kind of stunk. Next item. Next up, we have a PS4 game. This is Fallout 4, and that one sold for 14 and some change. And then a manual. This is out of the other manual, but I don't think so. This you is what I had. Oh, okay. This is a 1980 to 87 Audi 4000 manual, and that one sold for nine dollars shipped. The Haynes ones can some of them can do better than others. Depends on the model, so you definitely want to look up the Haynes ones because not all of them are worth picking up. Next and up, we got Street Fighter 4 for $360, sold for just under $10 shipped. So a lot of smalls to start the day. <laughs> then we got a uh, Game Boy Color cartridge, Powerpuff Girls Bad Mojo Jojo for seven and a half shipped. And then it starts to turn around. Then turn we have a Dyson. Every now and then. Never mind. Careful, don't get a Vero. Next item. Uh, Not next, a Vero. Uh, copyright. copyright. Next up, we got a Dyson part. This is the... Uh, what? Oh, well, don't touch it. Don't touch I'm it. Pointing no, no. Sure. The problem is you touched it and you moved it down. Okay. Sorry, Master. Next up, we have a set of golf clubs. This is a set of Mizuno golf clubs. Mizuno, these are the MP60s. These, uh, Mizu we've sold a bunch of Mizuno irons before the MPs. This set was, I want to say, 25 bucks for the whole set. And it came with some other clubs, and it sold for? $205. And shipped. I did put that they really need a re-grip. These ones are definitely used and kind of beat up, but... It looked like whoever used them was really sweaty. Yeah. Because they're me. yucky. But uh, they still sold, because those I, people like those irons. So that's a good one. We sold quite a few. That so, was the best sale of today. Cameron will pack those up for me. Next up, we got a Dyson vacuum. Uh, this is the filter housing section. And that one sold for 16 and some change. Then we got a King Cobra, not the animal. I don't think you can sell those on eBay. Animals. Who says? What if it's like taxidermy? I think certain states you can't sell those either. Anyways, the golf club. This is a King Cobra 5 wood, and that one sold for 42 and some change. Good one right there. We'll go out. We did buy a bunch of 6 by 6 by 48 boxes, so that should fit that. Oops. Staples had a really good deal on them so if you guys are having trouble like we did trying to find a good deal on them we looked everywhere and i'm talking everywhere yeah, we kept searching <laughs> um, to see what the best deal was and, yeah and staples ended up having the best it was like two dollars a box plus yeah. if you become a staples rewards member then you get um points for it which you could use it for later on when you got to get more of them it was like a dollar 87 or a dollar 97 per box if you bought them in a bulk lot of like 25 so we bought 75 of them yeah, we 75. <laughs> but the best deals i was finding elsewhere are like 260 270 a box so you're spending almost another whole dollar 80 cents yeah. to a dollar more per box uh, so. and that you know 
to no one wants to pay two bucks a box when we're using the USPS ones for free. Yeah. But I'd rather pay two than I'd rather pay three bucks a box, save me a dollar. So just always be on the lookout because some places like we actually found a listing on walmart.com that was for them but they ended up being out of stock and they and messaged that us that they were too. so sorry they were out of stock which was like it's cool it happens because probably we probably weren't the first ones to find it yeah so we tried it everywhere though that seemed to be the best deal so if you're looking check out on staples yeah or you if wouldn't you know expect, somewhere maybe yeah hit us up hit us staples up. <laughs> you wouldn't think they'd have the best price but they did for yeah. whatever reason so maybe it's they're awesome. not caught up with the uh price changes anyways next item uh this is a 700 seven hundred dollar manual buy this is a 2000 to 2006 honda insight etm sold for fifty dollars shipped 50 buckaroos oh yeah this cute thing this is a tv tunes music box collection my three sons it says i, I don't know if it plays music but it does Aww. And that sold for 22 and a half shit. I think I spent two bucks on that when I got all that um, Abbott and Costello stuff. By the way, we got a return on one of those Abbott and Costello baseballs we sold. We sold it for 20 bucks. The guy Can you guess was, the reason? Yeah, if you had to guess, what do you think he'd return a baseball for? Put in the comments what you think it was, but I'm going to tell you now anyways. He returned it because it wasn't made in USA. Now, that makes sense if the manufacturer was listed at USA, which it was not. It just said unknown origin. And he returned it because it wasn't. He's returning it. I haven't gotten it back yet. So, gotta love it. I mean, it's a collectible ball you put on the shelf. You don't play with it. It doesn't mean anything. But that person's really keen on only things from the U.S. So Very much so. Anyways, that's how life works on eBay. Next item. I have a $700 manual buy. This is a 1987 Mitsubishi Montero EDT engine drivability troubleshooting manual. And mm -hmm. that one sold for almost $24 shipped. What is it? Almost 24 shipped. I almost didn't list this, I think. I think they're like no sold comps, but there were a couple listed and mine sold. I'm surprised because some of them I'm like, eh, I don't know. If you go through off the uh, sell-through rate, some people say you don't don't list stuff that has a crappy sell-through rate. But every once in a while, there's like not many listed, I'll still list mine. And I think mine sold first. So You might get lucky. It might be yours that sells. Even yeah. if it's got we, bad we've had items where, you know, things have been listed. There's not a huge sell-through like this. And I list mine higher than some of their prices. And mine sells like right away. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. It happened on a Chrysler PT Cruiser manual as well. Got 25 bucks. Everyone else was 20 bucks. I listed mine for 25 and mine sold right away. So who knows? We are some prestige manual sellers. We do sell though, a lot of manuals so. on eBay. Anyways. Next <laughs> Reputation for seats. It's kind of big, so you'll see this on the is, screen. This is a trench coat. It's a women's um, military black trench coat. It is a size 18 long, and that one sold for 28 and a half shit. That came in one of the big military buys, so I probably got a dollar into it, maybe. And then this is our last item? Yep, this is our final sale for the night. We might, we have 45 minutes, so we'll see what happens, but this is the Raj Quartet box set, and that sold for $15. Shit. 15 bucks, probably just going to Bull Miller and it's on its way. Yep. That's all we got, guys. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with what sells on Thursday. And if there is anything in between, we'll let you know. See you guys in a second. Hey, guys. We are back with the what sold for Thursday. Today is Thursday, right? Yes. yes. Anyways, let's kind of go over how we did today. Yesterday was a good day for us. Today? Today we had eight sales for just under 370 370 So can't complain. Uh, a couple sales on a different platform. So we'll get to those first. Yep. Um, so on Poshmark, there, we go. there it is. We have uh, first up is this vintage John Lennon Yoko Ono doodle shirt. I'm gonna put this. It's like a doodle of a dude, and it sold for thirty six dollars plus shipping, and was, it is a size medium. I paid ten bucks for that at a garage sale, so I forgot what the payout was, but we'll make twenty bucks on that or something like that. So nothing wrong with that. And then we sold a pair of Lucky Brand blue two twenty ones, and those ones sold for thirty dollars plus shipping. I think we're in those for five. So pretty good deal getting two things out on Posh. We love to see it. Now let's get into eBay. First up on eBay, we have this Fujifilm Instax Mini 90. This yep. is the Neo Classic. Um, it does have the charger with it, and it sold for just under $95 shipped. That came out of your Christmas buy. Really? Yeah, that was in there. Look at me. Oh, I did all the work. Then we got this vintage Rolling Stones, uh, the Lips logo bandana. 
and it uh, looks like it's from 1989. It is, yeah. It is out of our Rolling Stones buy, and it is going global shipping program for just under $47 shipped. I actually sold something Rolling Stones related from the Rolling Stones buy, so that was nice. That's crazy. And then we sold, and I had been up for a little bit, but it finally sold. Got a GameCube. It is the platinum one with all the pieces. It's missing the little covers, but it does work. Everything's good. And it sold for just under $90 shipped. Yeah, I probably had a little too high. I think it's on sale or whatever, and it finally sold. So I must have had it too high. Then out of $100 Jazz Buy, we have this C uh, CD, Elmo Hope Trio. Elmo Hope Trio. And it sold for just uh, about $14 shipped. Make a lot of money in the jazz buy. Then we're here. Then we've got the Driving Zone 2 on DVD. They are factory sealed. It's new driver information. Yep. Um, somebody bought all three. They are literally exactly the same, so I'm not sure why. But maybe they need it for like a school or something. And that those that three sold for just under 32 ships. And these were two dollars each. I had another one. One sold already before, like probably a year ago. I bought four of them. They're all sealed for two bucks each, and we sold. So we're six and sold them for 31. So it took a while to make the money, but happy to see one person buy them all. Yeah. We'll save on shipping this way, so we'll make a few extra bucks. That's all we got right now, guys. Yeah. If anything else comes through, we will let you know. If not, we'll see you in the next video with what sells uh, this weekend. All right.